Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven, and once again I have my man, Man TXD, with me. What's up, Manny? What up, bro? How's it going, man? We're doing something different today. I created a couple cards. Uh, me and you are going to go over them or possibly shoot holes in them. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, I don't know, I just wanted to try and create something different. Um, for the first card that I made, I like, everybody knows I like playing Movement Scoyotel. And one of the biggest issues with it is if you're bowmen get killed it it just suffers so hard like you get no value off of those bowmen if they get knocked out i mean it's kind of like imperial enforcers but it's just True. if those aren't on the board like your your chances of winning just drop like dramatically or so the I, skeleton guys right right um so this is what i came up with i came up with blindfolded siri it's the little the younger Siri um, from the game where she's going through the um, training. Yeah, the training, the, the pendulum. So she had to get through three pendulums. So I set her up to where she has parry for three. So parry would mean if anything with direct damage coming at this unit or your side of the board, she's going to knock it away for nothing. So if you use a Viper Witcher... First time, she's just going to knock it out of the way. There's nothing you can do about it. Second time, she's going to do the same thing. Third time, she's going to throw that damage back at whatever caused that damage. Um, what do you think of the card, Manny? I like it because, you know, extra points. You just didn't just create a card. You actually created a new mechanic. And having mechanics that actually work and went is, you know, it's hard to calculate their value because, you know, there is cool mechanics such as, like, Pavetta. It's just we don't have an actual uh, numerical value to be consistent with it, and that's why it doesn't see play. But right. protecting a source of damage is extremely important, and it could be actually meta shifting. Right. Yeah, that, I mean, like, it just seems like a lot of times some decks that are really slow get even more, you know, punished because the things they need to keep on the board can't get a jump start going. So I figured this is like kind of like Gwent's version of Taunt. So it's protecting the little things that are, you know, your win condition. You know what I mean? It, mm -hmm. Maybe three is too many. I just like I liked it because it was like flavorful with the pendulum of her doing the gauntlet or whatever. But I don't know. I thought I thought it was a pretty cool idea. And like if they wanted to implement like bronzes, you know, make them real low strength, like you know, five strength or something like that with one parry. You know what I mean? If that can keep your your engine going for one turn. You know, that might be the difference between you winning or losing. So, um, yeah. I, I thought it well, was a pretty cool card. I, I, uh... I mean, it could, it, could be, it could be good because, for example, I, it could be that. You could be playing right. this yeah, it's, 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 card it's... that is just buffs, and you're like, okay, I guess I just got a 10-point value goal. Yeah, Manny did shoot a hole in it already, just to let you know. Uh, Crow's, yes, Eye. Crow's Eye would, would completely uh, <laughs> wreck this card, because it's three <laughs> three separate damages, so each one it would block it, and then the last one it would throw it back. It still might get, you know, it'd be 15, but, um, you know, I'm just looking at it from a standpoint of, you know, being able to protect your engines. I think that would be a really cool, cool yeah. idea, and like I said, Gwent doesn't have, like, you know, any type of... You know, taunt to protect yes. anything. So I think and it would be, Perry would it be, would a be good the idea. same thing with Arrakis Venom, right? So, but yeah, it's it's good that there is counters to things. That is healthy. It's good for a game. Like I understand how a lot of people love their cards, but if something counters them, you don't necessarily need to hate it because it makes the game healthy. Right. Right. Yeah. Everybody should have somebody that that can knock them out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's what I came up with with this one. Let me know if you can shoot any more holes in it or if you think it's bad or good. Uh, the other one I created is for my girl, Triss Marigold. I, I'm, I'm a Triss fan. Triss is, Triss is better than Yennefer. You guys can hate me all you want, but I think, <laughs> I think Triss is awesome. So this is what I came up with. Um, I made her the same strength as Yennefer um, Conjurer. 10 strength. So she could at least stay on the board. A lightning doesn't take her out. Right now, the one, you True. know, Triss butt, she's she's done. You know what I mean? After one turn, because something's going to take her out. But for this one, she spawns Sodden Hill on the opposite row. So you're going to ask, what's Sodden Hill? If you read the books, 
you know what Sodden Hill is. I know what it is now because I kind of read the books. So. Okay. Huh? It, but explain to people like me who have not read the, the books. She. Sir. It, it was like a big war where all the mages like just gathered together. It was like like Custard's last stand for all the mages of Gwent. You know what I mean? Okay. And uh, so this is what it does. It spawns this card on the other side of the board. It spawns Sodden Hill. And as long as this remains on the board, Marigold the Fearless will do five damage at the end of her turn. So I made her kind of like Ragnaros, but not a permanent Ragnaros. So if you throw this on the other side of the board, if there's a lot of stuff on the board, she might still be able to go Haywire for, you know, three, four, five turns. The next the next turn, she might hit this for one, and you just played, you know, a, a, a ten-point, uh, you know, gold card. But... I don't know. I just I hate that Triss is so bad. Like it just it's it irks me that like she's this <laughs> awesome character and she just sucks butt. <laughs> so yeah, I figured no. I figured this was something that was a little bit different, something that can you know it it has an answer, you can answer it in two turns, but uh and it might just completely tur it out by, you know, it hitting its own token and and eliminating the damage but all right what do you what do you think of it man i think it's pretty good because like you try to make a point that you know it might be 20 point play within two rounds and you know technically yes but we also have to count that there is cards that are not exactly five or ten right so for example it could hit uh, like an eight right and then the next round instead of doing five it does three so it's actually uh, a fair effect obviously it can actually one shot his own and yeah it, so it, it, I it's think a it, risk it's a... rewards you know system where i mean if you play this like and somebody plays you know like against the revenants if you play this against the revenants it's going to kill a revenant every turn you know what i mean it's hitting for five so it's knocking out a revenant every turn so you might be able to answer each revenant that they pop off mm -hmm. you know what i mean so i think it's i think it's pretty cool um it seems like it's oh, there's a picture we don't want to see. <laughs> That's me. But uh, but yeah, those uh, those were the the two cards I came up with. If you guys got any cards that you've made and uh, I do have a question about the other card that nobody wanted to see though. What what does he do? You know, <laughs> <laughs> he, he 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 drew he loses MMR every video he makes. He loses MMR and makes a video about it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, those, those are the two cards I came with. I've seen other people doing, you know, re remaking the effects of cards and stuff like that. And, uh, I figured I'd throw some out there and see how you guys, uh, what you guys think of them. But, um, um, yeah, this, this, this was something a little bit different. If you guys want me to do this again, let me know. Uh, if you got some other cards that you've made that you want, you know, shoot my way and let me know and I'll, uh, I'll put them up here and me and Manny will maybe shoot holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> but uh you got anything for the wonderful people of uh of gwent man no man just just keep playing when you know keep being awesome and uh you know i'm just happy to be here and make tris great again that's that's the whole point of the <laughs> we... <laughs> but uh Who's that's it. yeah i just i just <laughs> want to see her good man I, I i think she's awesome and and she just doesn't uh she doesn't get the highlight reel that she deserves so i'd like to see her just have something that can beat the tar out of somebody if it doesn't get answered but uh <laughs> that's the video for today guys thank you for watching and we'll see you guys next time